Hey everybody, welcome back to Look For Tool, and today we have a really fun project. Someone at work, one of my friends, asked me to make a lamp out of a bowling pin. So I went to a local bowling alley, I was able to pick up a few pins. Now it was, it's actually a really fun project because they want it to be a little ugly, a little beat up. They want it to, uh, you know, to say something actually pretty funny. I'm not going to say that here, but there's going to be a saying that I'm going to um, die cut out and I'm going to put on this with vinyl. Um, and we're going to make a lamp out of this. Now what I'm going to be doing to make a lamp out of it is using one of the lamp kits. You can get those at any hobby store, Home Depot, wherever. It's actually really easy to make a lamp. You just got to be able to put it together. You got to have some basic electricity knowledge. You got to know from what is your power and what's your neutral. So if you don't know what that is, then don't even try to make a lamp because you could potentially reverse things and, well, cause a fire and you don't want to do that. So. Today we're going to go through it. We have a few basic tools here that we need and it's going to be interesting because we have to bore from here all the way down. We got to make that happen. So we're going to make a base out of this wood. Now I know it's rough wood but that's cool because they really want this to be rough but we'll clean it up and we'll make it semi-decent just so it has a nice little base on it. So everyone stick around. Hey, let's get started. Okay, so this is the hardest part of the project. Now this is plastic coated, and I'm gonna to try to do, because this is just a sphere on top here, um, I believe that's right at the center. Now I need to be level going all the way down. So, you know, old drills actually used to have uh, a level built onto them, but not anymore. So I'm gonna do the best I can about getting this started to level. Even a level bubble would be fantastic. Uh, so plumb, should I, I should say. And I'm going to check this periodically as we're going down. So I am at the mark here. Okay, so this is a, I believe it's a 14 inch bit. Um, I only made it down to this far, so I actually need to transfer to another uh, drill bit that I have. I just there we go. Okay, so the hard part's done. Let's go ahead and cut out our base. I already have a circle here. I figured that would look great. <laughs> just kidding you thought I was using the jigsaw for the whole thing well little did you know that I like to create things called complications and I smoke the living crap out of the blade on the jigsaw and my hole saw well uh, that didn't work out so we're gonna finish this off with a good old bandsaw so remember whenever you're using a bandsaw you have to make sure that you set the depth because you want as little deflection in this blade as possible. So let's go ahead and do that to where we can see. We'll lock it back down. Let's turn it on and get cutting. Which was on. Let's go ahead and get this in the vise. We're going to start sanding a little bit. Uh, make sure it's a yeah, nice even surface. Doesn't need to be perfect, but it's got to look decent. Okay, for our purposes, this is just fine. Alright, now we actually have to route it and make it a nice clean surface on the outside here. And, um, you know, put a decorative touch to it. So the best way I can do this is just do half at a time. So I'll just go here, I'll switch it and go back and use the good old trusty palm router. So check out that beautiful ledge that this put on. And when I sand this a little bit more and clean it up, this will look fantastic. But it got away some of the imperfections. We left some of, I guess you want to call it anomalies in there too. But I got to say, this is exactly what I was looking for. We want a little bit of roughness. So 
it's time to drill some holes. Okay, so I've got this centered, and what I'm going to do is just mark all the way around here. And this is going to give me a good basis of where I need to drill my holes. So the reason that I did this is that the wire is going to come in here and then it's going to come in here where we'll actually tie a knot in it and then we'll run it up through here. It'll go through the bowling pin up to the top where the socket will be and then that is our lamp. Super simple, super easy. Now, the reason why you need to know that this is here is because you have to prevent the wire from being pulled so it doesn't actually pull out of the connections which are in a socket just like this and it creates a loose connection you know electrical shock prevention and you know fire prevention as well so very key in order to do that uh, in fact that's probably your most important thing that you have to do on any project like this so well besides making the actual electrical connections now we need to drill our hole so we can connect the pin to the base and then we'll treat the base let it dry assemble everything and we should be good to go Okay, so when I prep wood and I'm going to put stain or I'm going to put any type of clear coating on it, I always wipe it off as good as I possibly can with an actual rag. I try to clean it. I vacuum it. Um, and the reason why is because you don't want sawdust. And sawdust is so fine, fine particulates that, you know, it you, it's hard to see. So you really got to wipe it down. You can't just blow it off or just a vacuum. You really need to do this. And um, this is going to help you with your final product. So spend a little bit of time on this. Now what I'm going to use is this really, really nice polyurethane. This is water-based and it works well and it dries really quickly. So I can do a couple coats and not really have too many issues. So here we go. I like to use this brush too. These are cheap brushes I got at Harbor Freight. Just uh, simple, easy stuff. Now this is just a clear coat. I don't want to stain it. I want to. I want to leave it kind of raw here because of our whole goal of uh, you know sort of a, a gag gift, a pretty elaborate gag gift, but you know nonetheless uh, a pretty good gag gift. Do you all realize how big a freaking bowling pin is? And they actually don't stay up that well. And they, they fall over pretty easy. I don't know why they don't fall over whenever I bowl. And I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm just saying I don't see how they stay up in lanes. But anyway, I just had a Phillips bit over here. and Dude, I, I spend half my freaking time looking for crap. Do you all do the same? I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? So this is the kit that we're going to be using. And this is a super simple kit to use. Let's get this off here. So like we said before, here's your cord. You have your socket, your socket base, and then this is your mounting uh, through bolt, I guess, if you will. And Super simple, like I said before. First, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our wire ran up through here to know how long it actually needs to be. One thing that you cannot forget to do, make some extras. You actually got to make a knot. Go ahead and make your knot at the base here and feed that knot all the way down. Keep it loose, but feed it down. Give yourself a lot of play and you can taut that knot, uh, the knot up after but you just don't need to do it now just make sure you get the knot in there now do not forget to do it now we'll refeed this all right there it is so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to feed this in and a 3 8 hole works actually pretty perfect in this situation because it just threads down in there and it actually gets really tight you know what, so that's really tight right there. Um, I'm just going to leave it right there. We're going to pull a little bit of wire out. 
Let's go ahead and put this down over top. Make sure you have a Phillips screwdriver available. All right, so this is at the end. We're gonna go ahead, this screw's in the back now. We'll tighten that up. It doesn't need to be that tight. Okay, so now what we need to do is make sure we get the socket uh, properly in place here. This is actually two piece. If you look, this is the actual socket. This is the casing. There is uh, some paper in there and that's actually insulation. So don't take it out. Don't take any of this paper out either. Now, well, I'm sorry, typically gold means hot and silver means neutral. So that's a good rule of thumb. And then if you look at the end of your plug right here, the little plug is your hot and the bigger plug is your neutral. So always remember that and then you have a nice little reference that the smooth wire is hot and then that the bumpy wire is your neutral. So neutral, we'll go to that part and we need to push the wire up in there a little more. All right, we got our wire back out. And your wire only needs to be this far out, um, otherwise you're not really gonna have space for it. In fact, you're gonna push it back down. So we've identified our wire. This wire here has bumps on it and this, this wire over here is smooth. So it's really important that whenever you make your connections, these are tinned tipped wires. I don't cut them off. These have really good connections. Just make sure you bend them. I like to use a little piece of, or just a little needle nose and you can see here, I put a little bend in them and that's because that's how they're gonna wrap around the termination screw and they're gonna have a really good connection. Bumpy, and what did we say that was? Bumpy is neutral, right? So we know where that's going. That's gonna go on the silver screw. So let's go ahead and show what that looks like. It's it's Now you gotta make sure the wire and the hook on the wire is pointed the right way. So point in the same direction that the screw tightens Okay, so you see that it's on there. So as I tighten it down, it's actually gonna pull it into it and make it you know, even more tight. Don't over crank this, it doesn't need to be crazy. It's uh, just imagine, I mean, if you strip it out, it's gonna create a worse connection. So there we have that in, that's done. And now the same thing for this side, we have identified our wire, the smooth wire. Okay, so that's on there. I'm sorry, I know my, my fat fingers are in the way here, but again, don't over tighten it. So our connections are made. Now what we need to do is slide this back over top, just like this. Okay. And then the wire's still loose. We're going to pull it down a little bit. Okay. There we go. Then we'll just push this. And you heard that, it clicked into place, so it's locked in place. So that's good. Now we're gonna look at the bottom again. Make sure we pull, you know, make sure we have a little bit of slack and it's not too tight. All right, so that's good here. Now, now that we have this knot, this is the critical part, right? So we have to make sure that we make this knot in the right place. So we're gonna to have to play with the knot, make sure we get the excess wire out. Okay, and this is where it gets critical. We've gotten to the end. So we need to make sure we have some slack in there. So let's make sure we do that now. All right, we've got slack. Okay, this is good. All right, there we go. So we have our knot. All right, look at that. So we have our knot, and, and this is what I'm talking about. Someone pulls on this, like this. They're pulling on this knot. They're not actually pulling on the electrical connections at the top, so you're not gonna pull them out. They're not gonna be loose. They're gonna be safe. And then you have this right here. So your lamp is just about complete. And there you go, check this out. Isn't this awesome? And honestly, if I wasn't filming this, this may have taken me a couple of hours. Probably not even that. It was so easy, but you have to use safety first. You gotta know how to work with these things and you gotta 
really pay attention. You got to watch your digits. You got to watch the electricity. You've got to watch a lot of stuff. But if you do it right, you're going to come out with something really cool. Now, this is going to go on somebody's, I, I don't know, mantle or desk. And they're going to have a quick laugh because it, all this, this broken stuff on it. Um, but it's going to be presented as a present or award to someone. And I can't wait to see the reaction to it. Um, but I'm really excited. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always putting out some interesting videos. You know, leave me a comment. I always respond to comments. I have such fun with everyone. I like to hear your feedback. So I hope to see everybody in the next video. Take care. See ya.